So these are all the components that we're going to be using to build our heads. Now these are 862 heads, um, did a mild port and polish job on them, got rid of the rocker bolt notch, the exhaust, the little dimple on the uh, end of the valve guide, clean up all the valve guides and all the rough casting. Um, we'll get to that one later. So this is our uh, 660 lift polished dual valve spring kit from Nate Cool Performance, um, buddy around town that I got it from. He hooked us up pretty good. And as you can see, it's a dual valve spring, polished. These things are killer. Looks sweet, too. OEM valves. We just got replacements because we had a few bent ones. So not too much money, but, you know, good insurance. So those are also from SBI. Um, like I said, we've got the steel retainer kit because um, this is going to be a, a street-driven car along with the track. So retainers, uh, you got your seats, your top hats, and your valve seats all in the kit. Now these are the stock 1.7 rocker ratio um, LS uh, rockers, um, but we do have the CHE solid bronze trunnion kit. Um, got this over from uh, from Doug at Motion Raceworks. Oh, excuse me. So this is a pretty cool kit. Um, very happy with the quality of the bushings and the, the trunnion itself. So really easy install. Um, didn't get any video of that, but oh well. So this head right here, I've got it saran wrapped. Some people might call me crazy, but this is no longer going to be my workstation for the engine build. I am in the purchase or in the process of purchasing a, purchasing a house, so I will have a new garage where I can do my own things, get my own bench, get my own toolboxes, and start fresh. So that's why it's wrapped up for transport. And this one's already put together. So, like I said, all of this is in there. And then to secure our heads, we have the uh, I don't have them out here, but we have the BTR uh, LS9 multi-layer multi -layer gaskets. Ooh, can't talk today. And we're going to be using the ARP six-point uh, head studs. Um, so we do plan on, you know, trying to make a little bit of steam on this bad boy. So might as well play it safe. All right. So next time you see these guys, they'll be built and hopefully they'll be on the engine. So what you just saw was me assembling the heads a few months ago. Since then I moved into a new house. So that's why there's a kind of a time gap between assembling the heads and then putting, putting them on the engine with my brother when he came home from the army. head studs in for some reason they don't want to go all the way down so we're going to try something out we're going to take an old head bolt and we're going to put some channels in it see if this we can use that as a chaser because uh, we're on a little bit of time crunch but yeah they're just not they don't go all the way down at all so and the whole hand tight thing is like the Finally, we 
got all of our uh, our bolt holes chased out. Everything's torqued down. And uh, went ahead and got some uh, custom link push rods from Cam Motion from my buddy Nate Cool. They are 7.425 inch, and they are the hardened uh, uh, push rods from them. And also installed the uh, stock rocker arms with the CHE trunnion upgrade. And all this red stuff that you're seeing is a uh, assembly loop from Redline. We like to use that. It's a high compression grease rather than a, uh, uh, I guess like your standard assembly lube. We did this a few months ago and actually you can see the lube is still staying there. If it was a, a regular type assembly lube, it probably would have rained off by now. So it just keeps everything nice and, uh, and lubed up for when we go to first start this thing. We should figure it out. And what we did, like I said, we took an old head bolt chase all of our threads and then our studs went in nice and smooth all hand tight no 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 uh, no reason to torque them or anything like that so the heads are installed valve covers are temporary just to close it up um this morning we just did our push rod length with our ZZP push rod length checker right here so it came out for a 7.425 inch so that's with our current setup with our cam motion cam and our 660 lift valve springs and whatnot. So we're gonna get some hard push arms from them, from Cam Motion, from my buddy Nate. And then also last night, we didn't film this, but uh, we got the frame all stripped down. So all the suspension's off, as you can tell right there. This is going to be picked up today, actually in a few hours. It'll get sandblasted and powder coated, along with the core support. And then once that comes back, put all our CC CPP, uh, upper and lower tubular control arms or viking coilovers doing a manual style steering box the uh the stop linkage thing uh steering instead of doing a rack for right now just for simplicity so all that's going bye bye <laughs> trying to sell that as well so next step this is going to sit here for a while probably get an intake for it still deciding whether to do a high ram or you know sheet metal fabricated or something like that all right everyone i'm pretty excited to show you what i just picked up from the engravers here what i just picked up is our new summit racing valve covers now they're the wrinkle black low deck just plain old valve cover but as you can see we got the uh cars the new name engraved into the powder coating now it is a uh it is the aluminum underneath so the guy used a uh, CO2 laser to um, to get rid of the powder coating. And I think these things look awesome. What do you guys think? Comment below. So for our intake manifold, we're going to use the Holly High Ram Lower with the Sheer Fab uh, High Ram Sheet Metal Lid. These right here. Since this is going to be a turbo car, we're going to use the uh, longer runner High Ram just to, to increase the RPM range. And the Sheer Fab Intake Lid just looks pretty damn cool. So we're going to go with that. Keep it a little different than sticking with the uh, the regular Holly High Ram. That's it for the head install. Hope you guys learned something like we did. If you have any problems like we did, obviously you know now what to do. Uh, just take a simple head bolt, put some grooves in it, and then chase out the uh, the threads if you have any issues. Really didn't find any uh, anything but kind of metal shavings. So our machine shop guy didn't really hot tank the well, hot tank the the block as well as he should have. So it happens, no big deal. But we overcame it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. Thank you.